Meanwhile, Reuters reports that thousands of indigenous residents of western Panama protested this week against changes to a mining law that would make it easier for foreign countries to start mining operations in the country. Indigenous members of the Ngobe Bugle community blocked several parts of the Pan American Highway in Chiriqui province and marched alongside the road holding signs saying, Mining equals death, Panama mine free. Panamanian lawmakers just repealed a law preventing a foreign government investment in mining, clearing the way for Canada's inmet mining to build the largest copper mine in Central America. President Ricardo Martinelli, who proposed overhauling the 1960s-era mining law last year, is now expected to sign the changes into law in a boost for Inmet's Panama mine site near the Caribbean coast. At one point, Labor Minister Luis Ernesto Carles was attacked by a group of enraged protesters who bashed his vehicle with flags and sticks. The drive to attract mining investment is facing some resistance from environmental activists and indigenous groups who fear large mines will damage their farmlands and water supplies. We are here today to protest against changes made to the mining law that is touching the hearts of indigenous people. 